Hey guys, welcome back to Dipswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Jupiter Effects Kaleidoscope. So the Jupiter Effects Kaleidoscope it is essentially a reverb pedal, but it's like no reverb pedal that I've experienced before. Um, I met Chris Jupiter at 42 Gear Street and we went through a few of his pedals in an upcoming video. And this was definitely one of the standout ones for me from his range. His, his whole range is so inspiring to me um, and he was very enthusiastic about his pedals. And how he explained this one in particular to me is uh, something like, imagine you're in the 60s, um, you have a Fender Twin, that's kind of your gigging amp, and you love it cranked. You love the kind of preamp and the volume cranked, but you also love the reverb cranked. And that's kind of the sound we get from this pedal. Um, not only do we have a luscious, huge spring reverb in here, but we also have gain and compression. He explained it to me as he's kind of emulated uh, preamp, compression and gain before the reverb and also speaker saturation after the reverb. So once you really crank this compression knob, it gets wacky and it almost gets into fuzzy reverb territory. It really uh, suits his brand specifically, but it also gives us players a really unique sounding reverb. Not only does it do those wacky, uh, fuzzy, uh, compressed reverbs and modulated twisted reverbs as well but also is really useful as a really nice amp, amp like spring reverb crank turn that compression knob all the way down and max out the volume just a little bit of uh, feedback and kind of mix from the reverb and you've got a really usable spring this is the reverb that I've got on my board at the moment and that's pretty much what I'm using it for just a larger than life amp spring like reverb <laughs> One thing you'll notice across the board with the Jupiter pedals is that there's, there's no um, kind of uh, labels for the controls, so I'll run, quickly run through the controls and then we'll get into some tones real quick. So this big knob here on the top left is your gain and compression control that I was talking about before. The knob beneath that is your overall volume. Um, again, you can pretty much use this pedal as an overdrive pedal. Turn the reverb off completely and you've got a really tasty overdrive, I find. Um, and then the three controls here are the reverb controls. Top knob we have a feedback control, 
and uh, the middle one is a swell control for the hold function in the middle and the bottom one is your kind of mix level of the reverb. The compression knob, feedback knob and uh, level of the reverb knob work in conjunction really well. You've really got to find some sweet spots with this otherwise it gets really out of hand quite quickly and it's a lot of fun when it does so but really those three knobs change function a lot when if for example if you crank the compression knob um, the feed the feedback will oscillate a lot quicker um, so you've kind of got to know the sweet spots with the pedal if you want to get some more kind of subtle sounds but really you know with a lot of Christmas pedals the best sounds in it are where you max everything out foot switches on the bottom we have bypass switch obviously that hold momentary switch in the middle again you've kind of got to work with the knobs and get get it to work the way you want it to and but once it does it's a really great way to get some huge oscillating reverb sounds and then the right switch here is a kill dry switch which I didn't think I'd be using as much as I am it's really great to add some layers and textures you'll have heard in the intro song I used that one in the middle section and it really added a lot of space and warbliness <laughs> The reverb sound itself is just a really drippy, tasty sounding spring reverb with a really nice twist and modulation to it once you crank it up, which is kind of not typical of an amp like uh, thing, but it's definitely a really tasty sound. And there's also quite a nice long gap between your playing and the reverb coming in, uh, really adds to the splashiness of the reverb itself. Um, and that's pretty much it with the pedal. I love the look of his pedals too big big pedal which you know you've got to embrace and it really stands out on a board even though it's kind of a raw enclosure with a um, reasonably simple design on the front it really still stands out and he's definitely got a iconic brand going on I would say and yeah let's just get jump right into some tones um, we have the Victory V40 set up as usual pretty loud but also pretty clean with no reverb going on so all the reverb you're hearing is coming from here we're going into straight into the front end as well so no effects loops here um, going into the boss was a tube amp expander emulating a 212 cab mic'd up with a ribbon and an SM57 going straight into Logic and that's what you're hearing and I'm using my Music Man Cutlass um, yeah enjoying getting back into that guitar my number one I've not played it for a while and really enjoyed getting into it <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please so go subscribe and go check. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and go check out some more videos. Check out any of the links below. Uh, some of them will include affiliate links that would really help support the channel and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.